If you've ever wondered about the journey from sucker to ripe fruit, you're in the right place. Bananas have a rich history dating back thousands of years. Originating in Southeast Asia, they were cultivated as early as 8,000 before Common Era. Bananas then spread to Africa, brought by Arab traders, and later to the Americas through European exploration. Bananas are reproduced primarily through a process called vegetative propagation. This involves selecting healthy shoots, known as suckers, emerging from the base of an existing banana plant. These suckers are carefully separated, ensuring that each contains a portion of the underground stem or rhizome, which carries the plant's genetic material. The chosen suckers are then planted in well-prepared soil with adequate spacing for growth, and proper water drainage is crucial for the planted banana's success. The young banana plants require ongoing care, including regular watering, fertilization, and protection against pests and diseases. This nurturing phase is vital for robust plant development. To protect the developing fruit, specialized leaves called bracts turn red, covered with a permeable bag to allow light and air in while keeping out pests and weather. As the fruit stem matures, the protective bracts turn a deeper red, and flowers form at the tips of banana fingers. Early deflowering is carefully done to ensure optimal banana growth. As the fruit grows, protective red bracts are removed, and remaining flowers are hand-picked. To prevent latex staining, a protective sheath, known as a diaper, is used on lower fingers. Plant stability is ensured through a web network of supports, preventing breakage under the weight of banana bunches. Disease and pests, including the serious threat of black zigotoka, are addressed through sparingly applied crop protection agents. Harvesting is done selectively, with individual hands or clusters cut from the banana plant. This precision ensures that only mature bananas are harvested, while allowing younger ones to continue developing. Timing is crucial during banana harvesting. The process is often carried out when the bananas are fully grown, but still green. This is to prevent damage during transportation and to allow for ripening at a later stage. Harvesters use machetes or specialized knives to cut the banana hands from the plant. Handling is done with care to prevent bruising or damage to the bananas, ensuring they maintain their visual appeal. After harvesting, the bananas are transported to packing facilities. This is typically done using carts, conveyor belts, or other manual and mechanized methods depending on the scale of the banana plantation. At the packing facility, the bananas undergo rigorous quality control checks. Damaged or unripe bananas are sorted out and only those meeting specific quality standards are processed for distribution. The selected bananas are then carefully packed into boxes or crates, often with protective packaging to prevent bruising during transportation. Each box is labeled with relevant information, including the type of banana 
and its origin. Upon reaching their destination, bananas may undergo controlled ripening processes before being delivered to retail stores. From there, they make their way to consumers, ready to be enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in future videos, please leave a comment down below. Until next time, take care, stay curious, and keep exploring the wonders of farming. See you in the next video.